Franco family was expecting their third child, they were told that the baby's bones were fractured and broken in the womb and likely wouldn't make it. Well, the family and doctors at Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children fought for that little girl. CBS 4's Mackenzie O'Keefe has their story. The Calvillo family, come life is filled with a lot of love. My boys had been asking for a baby sister for a long time. But when Anna was pregnant with their third child at the five-month ultrasound, the family got some tough news. She's just like, you know, his baby's bones are, they're bent and they're fractured. This was the first time I'd seen it prenatally, um, to, especially to this degree. What doctors did know is that her bones were so weak, she likely wouldn't make it through birth. We weren't going to give up on Peyton. Peyton hadn't given up at that point. We weren't going to give up on her. After weeks of ultrasounds, Anna had a C-section bringing Peyton into the world. Despite all odds, she came out with a few rib fractures, but no broken bones, and she was breathing on her own. She was a miracle. Staff at Rocky Mountain Hospital for Children found Peyton has hypophosphatasia. It's a rare genetic condition that affects bones and teeth. This ultrasound shows how bowed her bones were at birth. But at just six days old, she began receiving medicine that strengthens her bones. And every week, she's showing signs of improvement. It's been so exciting to see her do all the things, to crawl, to walk. A little girl who beat all odds against her. I tell her all the time, I can't believe she's that pretty. <laughs> Encouraging other families facing a tough diagnosis that there is hope. We just want to bring encouragement, you know, she's a miracle. Her family says the most important thing through this is they never lost their faith. Staff here will continue to work with this girl to make sure that her bones continue to get stronger. In Denver, I'm Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado First.